Hey everybody, Gary Fernan here for Photo Receptor Cell, and in today's guide, I'm going to show you how to create a a street poster or make a street poster using Photoshop. So once you're into Photoshop, what we're going to do? We're going to go to the Create New tab. I've already done it here, and up pops this new document screen. Now, if we go to the Print tab, select that. And then we want to download the uh, street billboard mock-up file. So if we find that, the easiest way to do it is look for a street billboard. There we go. And you can see that it is a free download. So let's select that and hit download. Okay, so once it's downloaded, hit open, obviously. If we look over to the layer panel here, we've got three layers, the background image, the reflection, and the your image layer. It's the your image layer that we're going to work on. So what we want to do, we want to open this layer up. So if we double click here on this first tab here, double click that, just hit OK, that's fine. Uh, we'll cancel that. And it opens up that layer in a in a new window. And it breaks it all down here. It breaks it up for us. So you've got placeholder, tagline, title, tagline, the border, and the border, which is the blue part, and then the placement itself. Now what we're going to do here, we're going to drop our image into that photo. So let's find my image. There it is. That's the image I'm going to use. I'm just going to drag and drop that into the border there. Now that obviously needs resizing. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so once we've got our photograph in place, we can then start um, messing around and creating new, new text. Now, I, what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to change the color of this border. I don't like the, the border in blue. So I'll make sure that it's white. Um, find my paint bucket and just pop that in here to make that white. And then we can work on the text itself. So let's first let's drag that above our layer so we can see it. Hit a T for type tool. Now the good thing about one of the beauties of Photoshop now is that once we've created some text, we can go back in and amend it without having to to retype the whole thing. So I'm going to change that. So I'm going to change the color to white. Text to mustachio nut. For those of you who don't know what mustachio nut is, mustachio nut is uh, charity project that I am doing um, it's to raise uh, money and awareness for uh, prostate cancer or prostate cancer research center um, so let's move that there let's change that to text type as well yeah, let's go birch standard Looks quite nice. Um, we can then afford to make that a little bit larger. And also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the space in between the letters. Um, there, we'll leave it there. Wonderful. Let's come off of that. 
let's go to tagline one then. Let's move that. Move that above the layer so we see it. And then again, let's change that text. Again, you can change this text to anything you like. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's change that to, there we go, bit of, bit of impact. And then we can move, move that as well, to so all lined up. I'll do the by R there and you can see it's a little bit confusing so if I just highlight those three layers there and if we come to the top here we can say let's centralize them all there we go they're all lined up okay so we can go ahead then and um, close that close that window there yeah save that's fine we go back into our street poster there it is you find it there it's all uh, it all places it for you so guys that, that's it really that's it's it was as simple as that um, a little bit messing around trying to get the font that um, that I wanted again that's entirely up to you you can use the uh, the, the preset font that uh, Adobe give you with this free download or you can create your own but uh, it really is no more difficult than that. Guys, I hope you found, uh, found this useful. And uh, I shall speak to you in the next, the next guide. Take care.